and Steph Ayane, who's standing next to me. She is our brilliant event fundraising coordinator. If you've written to us or phoned us this year, there's a very good chance that you have already uh, spoken to Steph and heard from her. And we're also going to hear from Khan Ha, who is our operations coordinator for the event. Uh, when you're out on the trail, seeing our trail markers, drinking a cup of tea or eating a sandwich at a checkpoint, you can think of Khan because he and his squad put, put it there for you. And between Khan, Steph and myself, the three of us have completed, finished, 13 <coughs> trail walker events. Um, so when we've written these notes for you to this evening, I want you to really listen, take the advice seriously because we know what we're talking about. We all love doing this event and the fact that we've finished it, we like to think that we can share our experience with you and uh, give you some good advice on how to safely get from the start to the finish and more importantly to get there as a team of four and to enjoy doing it. So um, let's get started. Steph, you ready? Here's Steph, thank you. Thank you, Simon, and thank you, everybody, for coming today. It's fantastic to see so many of your faces, finally, um, and not emails. It's good to see you all here and taking an interest in your safety at the event. It's really important uh, and a huge welcome. Um, I thought I would just start off by showing you a little bit of a video about some of Oxfam's work um, that we have been doing in Kenya in the Makuru slum and I thought it might be a good reminder as to what this is all about and bring us back to that initial course. So, um, hang on. Uh, interpretation of Oxfam's work, but that's okay. Hopefully it's a, still a little bit of an insight into um, some of the projects that we've been running. So um, I also wanted to, off the back of that, just um, say a huge congratulations to everybody here because today we reached $1.6 million. So fantastic you guys are completely smashing our 2.5 million dollar target um, it's a great chance at this point just before the event to get in touch with all your friends and your networks and just do that final call out chase up um, last minute donations and um, any promises that people might have not fulfilled yet so good times so off the back of that, I also wanted to talk about our recent Money Dunny competition, which I'm not sure if all of you were aware of, but we do have the Money Dunny comp. It's very, very popular. 
The idea is that you get a personal portaloo following you around for the whole event, so you don't have to wait in any queues, you have your own little key. Uh, there is no red carpet, but it's, it's pretty schmick. So um, the lucky team is actually team number 722, who raised over $5,000 for Oxfam. Uh, how hard can it be is their team name. So we were all having a laugh that for you guys, not very hard now that you have a personal toilet. Um, and I don't think any of them are in this session, but in the next session where I hopefully one of them is, I'm going to present them with this. <laughs> sure if they'd be a fan. The idea was to do one of these and uh, make a big parade out of it, but that's for next session. Anyway, so lots of lots of fundraising comps. Um, I'm sure you've seen it out there. We had the, um, the Hocker One one that was won recently by Extreme Team and I think they're in the crowd as well. Woo! Congratulations! also about to run another competition with our new fantastic uh, event partners, uh, Exodus Travels. Uh, so I just wanted to introduce Lou to come and tell you a little bit more about Exodus Travels and what they're doing for Oxfam. So give it up for Lou. Um, I don't think I can top the portaloo, but um, I will uh, give you a little bit of an insight in um, just how excited Exodus is with our new um, partnership with um, Oxfam. For those of you who aren't aware, Exodus, we've been around some 44 years out, out of the UK and we launched here in Australia four years ago. Um, you'll see, you'll meet Ollie and myself up the top of the stairs there. Where We've just um, brought along a small supply of brochures. We have over 150 different walking itineraries and over 60 different cycling itineraries if we can tempt you um, to even consider doing some more walking after you've all been highly successful in completing next weekend. Um, for those of you who have raised more than three and a half thousand dollars, which I think is most of you judging from those I've spoken to, um, walking in, um, you've all, you'll automatically go on a draw to win a $1,500 Exodus travel voucher, um, which you can use towards uh, one of three of Exodus trips, either a Great Wall of China walking trip, Mount Kilimanjaro, or the Amalfi Coast. So hopefully one of those will tempt you. Um, along with that, just so a bit of a feel-good um, gesture, 10% uh, back of any Exodus trip booked up until the end of November. 10% of the value of that trip um, we're donating back to Oxfam. So um, you can feel good about booking your next holiday. So good luck on the walk. Um, you can use my mantra, it's just one day out of, out of your life. How hard can it be? So good luck everyone. Thank you, Lou. So pretty fantastic, keep an eye out. Um, so speaking of fantastic, I did want to just uh, have a little bit of a, an acknowledgement of the Oxfam legends, who maybe some of you have heard of, maybe not. Um, but could I just get as a little bit of a gauger, how many people here tonight uh, are doing the Oxfam Trail Walker for their first time? Whoa! <laughs> So it's going to be amazing. Um, so perhaps as a little bit of a comforter, um, you might like to know that there are actually hundreds of people at this event who have walked it over five times. So we call them uh, Oxfam Trail Walker Legend. So we actually have 78 people who are becoming a legend for their first time. Um, so if you see these guys at the start or on the trail, please go up to them, get all their tips and um, listen to them because they know where it's at. Um, I'll show you, hopefully, some of the names. Oh, you can't read that, can you? Oh, well. Um, but we, we have... Um, so we've got Dennis Goldner, Daniel Plain, Bernadette Vanderwood, um, 
Peter Baguera and Robert Cave, who are all on 15 plus events. So those guys are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I'll give you an example. This is what they wear. This is their special little legend buff that they wear. So if you see that, go up to these people and have a chat. So, uh, on celebration night, we're having that on uh, Thursday the 5th of May. We haven't uh, announced a location yet, but um, at that night we will be announcing a few other awards. So, we've got the Support Crew Award, Team Spirit Award. Uh, if you want to have a little bit of read up about that and if you think of anyone or know of anyone that you'd like to nominate, please just email it in to Trowalker Melbourne. Um, we'll note them all down and announce the winners on celebration night. Um, so, I did just want to touch ever so briefly, before we get into the nitty gritty, um, just on the work that Oxfam is doing. So, I, I know that sometimes it can be a, a little bit hard to remember that, but the Trail Walker event truly is an, uh, an embodiment of Oxfam's work. It's about teamwork. It's about coming together and challenging ourselves to do what might feel like the impossible at the start. And even with that statistic, $1.6 million that we've already raised, um, Oxfam's out there delivering emergency response work as we've seen at Cyclone Winston just recently in Fiji. We're out there campaigning as we've seen with Close the Gaps anniversary last Thursday, the 17th. Um, we're working with our like, long-term community development work and um, empowering people to lift themselves out of poverty, um, as I was hoping that you um, could have seen in that video in the Makuru slum in Kenya. Um, but this is what it's all about and this is what you guys are really contributing to. It's just fantastic. And on that trail, uh, on event weekend, you're really going to have that feeling as well for those first timers out there. It, it really does feel like you're a part of something. So good on you for um, addressing these much needed to be addressed issues in the world. <laughs> so, I don't know if you, yeah, you can read that. So um, just in terms of admin, we've got a few deadlines and important dates coming up. So the deadline for the minimum fundraising is this Friday the 1st. So you have to have reached your $1,400 by then. If you want to contact us or if you've done so already, that's fine. We can talk you through a few things, um, but that's really important. Um, get all your, uh, or bank all of your donations on your team space if you haven't already. Now's the time to do it. Really sort of um, get that all happening so you can focus on your training and preparation. Um, and also just a reminder that all the donation receipt booklets do need to come back. So anyone who has those, even if you haven't used them, send them back in at the zero dollars. It is a legal document, so we do require that for auditing purposes. Um, so, speaking of fundraising, or ending off on my fundraising talk, um, you might have noticed if you've opened your briefing packs, and if you haven't done so already, please do, but there's an orange form in there that is already pre-filled, hopefully with your team and name on there, and not somebody else's. Um, and it should let you know that if you increase your fundraising target by $500 tonight, you will go into the draw and we'll announce it tomorrow to win this beautiful Oxfam hamper. Have a look at that. Looks pretty delicious. Uh, so there are also there's also a family pass for the aquarium in there as well, that was donated to us. So raise your fundraising target by five hundred dollars. It's completely obligation free. Um, it really motivates your um, networks to keep donating. If you have it a, just a little bit higher over the event weekend, especially, um, and if you want to just grab that form and pop it in this bucket. 
nicely displaying. So we'll just have that up there next to the flowers on your way out. Just pop your form in. So it's up there now. So do that on your way out. Oh, I just can't figure this out, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, briefing packs and all that sort of stuff. All right, so um, over the event weekend, uh, your t team space will actually turn into this, what we call the live tracker. So be sure to send this around to your friends and family. It's a way for them to keep up to date with where you're at on the trail. Um, they can also look at different stats on there, your average time. So even uh, if you wanted to pass that on to your support crews, you might want them to also uh, have access to this. Um, it's, just, it's just sort of fun, like any tracking thing, you get to see where everybody is. It's nice to share around. So before event weekend, be sure to send this out to everybody. And so now, in your briefing packs, So you should have your support crew vehicle pass, which I'm hoping everybody does. You should have.